We're in Windows Server, and our host is on Server 2016, and we have a virtual machine running Windows Server 2019. And what we want to do is we want to install Hyper-V on our virtual machine. And as you can see here, we've got this running, but if we try to add the role for Hyper-V, we'll get an error. So what we've got to do is we have to start by shutting down our 2019 virtual machine. Make sure all virtual machines are shut down. And then we're going to run a command that should allow us to have a virtual machine inside a virtual machine. So let's go ahead and open up command prompt. We're going to change over to PowerShell. There we go. Now that we are in our PowerShell, we're going to go ahead and type a PowerShell command that will allow us to turn on the virtualization for this particular virtual machine. So let's go ahead and paste that in. And as you can see here, the command is set dash VM processor dash expose virtualization extensions true. Now we hit enter and it says, hey, what's the name of the server you want to do this to? So we're going to put in 2019 SCRVER and we'll go ahead and click enter. And we only have the one, so we'll hit enter a second time. And now it's done. Now we'll go back to our Hyper-V and start it up. And hopefully we'll be able to install the Hyper-V role onto our virtual machine here so we can have Hyper-V inside of Hyper-V. We're in our 2019 virtual machine and we want to make sure the server manager opens up so we can go to the start menu and click on server manager. Now that Server Manager is open, let's go ahead and click on Add Roles and Features. And we'll click Next. And we'll keep going until we get to Server Roles, and we'll choose Hyper-V. Go ahead and click Add Features. Click Next. And keep going until we get to the very end. And Install. And the installation is complete, and it forces us to do a restart, which it'll restart twice, actually, so you got to be patient. And then you'll be able to install your virtual machine inside your virtual machine.